Today I'm going to be talking about uh, adoption support services. Uh, adoption support services um, is governed by the um, Adoption Support Services Regulation 2005. Um, I will briefly um, mention what uh, it, com it comprises, but I will focus mainly uh, in this uh, discussion, or um, well, this um, um, th this video on the provision of financial support, uh, because I feel uh, this is where a lot of people uh, may be um, interested in knowing uh, information and um, knowing what uh, is available should they choose to proceed down the route of adoption. Um, the legislation I've just mentioned um, allows uh, the local authority adoption service um, to provide uh, adoption support services. Uh, local authorities are required to make a range of adoption support services available in their area to meet the needs of people affected by adoption. Adoption support services are defined as including financial support, uh, but it's not limited to financial support. It includes services to enable groups of adoptive children adoptive parents and natural parents of for or former guardian of an adoptive child to discuss matters relating to adoption. Um, services also include assistance um, including uh, mediation services in relation to contact between an adoptive child and a natural parent natural siblings, former guardian or a related person of the adoptive child. Services also include therapeutic services for adopted children. It also includes assistance for the purposes of for the purpose of ensuring the continuance of the relationship between an adopted child and his adoptive parent including training for adoptive parents to meet any special needs of the child and respite care. Assistance uh, will also be provided by way of service where disruption of an adoptive placement or adoption arrangement following the making of an adoption order has occurred or is in danger of occurring making arrangements <coughs> for the provision of mediation services and organizing and running meetings to discuss uh, the disruptions and also services also include uh, providing counseling uh, advice and information i shall now turn to um, specifically the issue relating to provision of financial support because I feel um, a lot of people uh, may be interested in having uh, this information. Um, a distinction uh, must be made between ongoing financial support, that is, financial support that is paid on a regular basis which was agreed before the adoption order was made and other support services. The services and provision of such financial support will remain the responsibility of the local authority who original ag originally agreed it. For as long as the family in question qualifies for payment, this distinction has been made because financial support can be paid in isolation from other services which may have to be locally provided.
provision of uh, financial support. Um, there are circumstances in which financial support may be paid to an adoptive parent. These are uh, uh, where it is necessary to ensure that the adoptive parent can look after the child. It also includes where the child needs special care which requires greater expenditure of resources by reason of illness, disability, emotional or behavioural difficulties or the continuing consequences of past abuse or neglect. Also, where it is necessary for the local authority to make any special arrangements to facilitate the placement or the adoption by reason of the age or ethnic origin of the child or the desirability of the child being placed with the same adoptive parent as his brother or sister. And this is uh, in circumstances uh, that may include whether uh, include full blood siblings or half blood siblings or with a child with whom he previously shared a home. 